What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I am going to show y'all a regimen that I just incorporated into my curly hair routine that has completely changed the game. Going blonde and still keeping healthy curly hair is a struggle because obviously like you can see it gets dry, it gets brittle, it could have a lot of breakage and damage. So here I did a little bit of experimenting in these side by sides. I look a hot mess on the left. And on the right, you can tell that my curls, they look good, they look juicy, they don't look dry. But what's crazy is I use the same amount of products in both of these side-by-sides. This is both day three hair on obviously different wash and goes, both using the black Jamaican castor oil leave-in from Shea Moisture, which I love. And as y'all can see, my hair just was not feeling it. Even though it is a great product, it just was not doing anything for my hair. My hair is really dry, it's very brittle. Even up to day three, like my hair stretched out, my curls were not holding, it was just a hot mess. So on the left, I skipped this regimen two weeks in a row just to kind of experiment to see if it really made that much of a difference. And then on the right, this is three days post-treatment. So let's just get right into the magic and show y'all what I have been doing. So here are some of the products that I use. I obviously don't use all of them at once. And I actually got most of these products in Paris. For all my Paris followers, oh my God, it is a struggle trying to find curly hair products or even essential oils in Paris. But I did find this one little spot and I got everything for the low. Um, I will go ahead and show you guys all the products that I got next. So the first thing I got was this All My Hair Oil. And I have heard so many good things about this that this is literally like crack for hair growth and it's really good oil for natural hair. Like I said, the black castor oil leave-in collection from Shea Moisture is by far my absolute favorite. It's because I have color treated hair, it's nice and light, and then it also has those growth properties. And this is actually the mask, this is not the leave-in, so it's more of a thicker consistency. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know Dugrow is a staple product of mine. I have been using this ever since I went natural. You guys can get this from the Slauson or even from Friday's Beauty Supply if y'all live in LA. But if not, you could pretty much find it in any beauty supply anywhere. Castro oil is one of my favorite go-to oils for thickening hair growth. And it's something that every curly girl should have. Garlic oil is a new product that I decided to try out because I heard it was great for hair growth and I got this from a little spot in Paris. Almond oil is another product that is also great to incorporate in your deep conditioning days. As well as this avocado oil that I also got from my little spot in Paris. I like to use jojoba oil on days where I like to do cute little sleek protective styles. And for the argan oil, I love this because it provides lots of shine and luster for my curls. And no matter what I'm doing, whether it's deep conditioning or protective styles, I have to use peppermint oil because I love the way it stimulates my scalp. So I didn't want to confuse you guys, but a lot of people always ask me like, what are the products you use? I alternate between all of these oils, but these four right here are products that I use no matter what for every single deep conditioning treatment, just because they really have worked for me and they have given me really good results. So for today's deep conditioning treatment, I am going to try the Alma oil for the first time. Then I'm gonna use my OG Do Grow Oil, which has made my hair grow so much, and I actually like mixing both of them together. And when I'm measuring these out, I'm just putting whatever I think. I don't have a certain amount that I use. Basically, I choose the oils for the week based on how my hair is actually feeling. And for the peppermint oil, I am super heavy handed because I love the way it stimulates my scalp and it also helps with blood circulation, promoting that healthy hair growth. Now to the product that changed the game, this hair steamer. Now when I'm telling y'all, I've never steamed hair, I'm new to the game, shout out to Auntie Lily for putting me on, but I've bleached my hair two times within the last month and my hair has gone from like a six to a 10 just by using the steamer. This steamer I got from Amazon and it came with one hood, obviously the steamer itself, then it came with a measuring cup and then it also came with the facial steamer and I'll go ahead and put all the information for this exact product below. So just to break it down for you guys because I know a lot of people aren't used to steamers. There's two different switches. One is an on and off switch and then the other is for the steam to actually let out. And when you're setting up your steamer, you wanna first open up the little plastic doors and then insert the measuring cup and make sure that when you're inserting the measuring cup, you wanna screw it tight. 
and you don't want to put in water obviously before you put the measuring cup in. Then you want to hook on whatever attachment you want, whether you want to steam your hair or give yourself a facial. And then with the measuring cup, you want to actually open up that little door up top and feed the water through that way. The red line is the maximum water that it can carry. So you want to fill up your water all the way up to the line so that you can get your full session of steaming. Now that everything is set up, I'm going to turn on my steamer while I detangle my freshly washed and very tangled hair. Now, for the purpose of this video, I did not brush out my hair. I wanted to show you guys how dry my hair was. After you get out the shower and after you condition your hair, your hair should never be this dry or tangled. So, obviously, I'm going to need some deep treatment for this um, steaming session. So, obviously, you want to brush out your hair. Make sure that it is tangled free before you apply your deep conditioner. And the deep conditioner that I will be using today is one of my staples that I always use every single time I see my hair, which is the Jamaican Black um, Castor Oil Leave-In by Shea Moisture. This is a collection, like I keep saying, that I love very much. It's a thicker consistency and it's more like a clay consistency. So I take a really generous amount and I put some of it in the lid. And I start by adding it onto my ends just because obviously that's where I get most of my breakage and my hair obviously has been blonde the longest on the ends. But you also wanna focus on the roots and making sure that your roots are dry um, and to make sure your roots are not dry, I'm sorry, and that they're nice and moisturized. Taking some of the excess that I put into the lid uh, you want to make sure that it's evenly coated all throughout your hair and that you are focusing really on your ends to make sure that your ends are nice and strong. And then my problem area is also like that middle back crown area. So you want to make sure that you are not neglecting any of those spots that are super, super dry. And just to make sure that everything is super evenly coated, you do want to brush everything through so that it's nice and even and that your hair is actually saturated in the product. Next, this is where we take our little oil mixture for the week and we put it directly on our scalp. I like to part my hair in different sections and put the oil directly onto my scalp um, because the oil does run very quickly. You don't have to part it in small sections. You can go in chunky sections and then the oil will naturally just fall along your scalp. And y'all, it's going to get really messy so I would grab a towel because it definitely will drip. But this is the part that is my personal favorite because you feel the peppermint and you feel all of the oils working directly onto your scalp. But the main thing is you just want to make sure that it's completely covered around your entire head. And then obviously making sure that you're focusing on those extra dry parts. And for me, those are my ends. Then you want to make sure that you are massaging it into your scalp, basically activating all of the oils right before you start your steaming session. Now that the steamer has heated up, you see everything bubbling, you can turn on the ozone button, which is actually going to release the steam and sit under the hood. Now for me personally, I like to sit under the hood for a long time, um, for 10 minutes going forward. And because the steamer does tend to go to the front, um, I like to stand 10 minutes to the left and then uh, making sure that I'm getting all sides of my hair and then after that 10 minutes is up, I like to switch over to the right side and do 10 minutes to the right. When I do this, I make sure that no part of my hair is neglected at all. And I even like to switch over to the back side to make sure that the other side of my head is getting the nice steaming properties also. Now, I know some of y'all are probably saying, okay, well, you're only getting your roots. What about your ends? So after that 10 minutes is up, I like to put my hair in a nice little ponytail. And y'all, I'm going to look so crazy, but I don't care like anything for some good healthy hair. So I put my hair in a ponytail, then I split it down the middle so that the steam can actually reach my ends also. And I know some of y'all are probably thinking like, okay, steamer's not that big of a deal. I can just use the shower cap. Now, why a steamer? Think about when you get a facial. When you get a facial, the steam opens up your pores. So if you have a good deep conditioner, you think it's great, you think it's good, or maybe it's not working, it's only sitting on top of your dry hair. So when you steam your hair, you allow your follicles and your hair shaft to open up so that the actual deep conditioner oil DIY mask can actually penetrate your hair shaft and do its job and lock into the moisture. Now, if you think your hair is good now with the stuff that you do, add a steamer in the mix and it will really change the game. 
So because I like to sit under the steamer for a long time, um, my water is obviously going to start running low. So you can see that it's no longer at the maximum point, but it is still boiling. Eventually, it will start beeping if it gets too low and you're going to have to add some more water. So for me, I like to keep a little measuring cup off to the side so that I could add as much water as I need to. This is not necessarily a requirement. You don't have to stay under the steamer this long for it to work, but I just like to take my time on my wash days. Okay, um, I'm recording a video right now, and you're in it. But you want, you want to know something even better? If you look at my video that I posted today, Jamie is also in it, calling me. Are you being serious? Yeah, I'll you could, you could watch the whole 15 minutes, or I can tell you which part you're in. So steaming and emails has been my weekly routine for the last two months and it's made the biggest difference in the world in my hair. I'm telling y'all, after you guys steam, your hair will love the difference. And it's kind of hard to portray the difference in this video, excuse my big red forehead, but it's more of a thing that you necessarily can't necessarily see. It's something that you have to feel. But for me, at this point, I rinse out the deep conditioner and all the oils because I don't want my hair to weigh heavy. And then I apply my product. I have been rocking with my castor oil leave-in for the summer lately, and it's worked wonders. And as you can see, the results don't lie. My hair has so much more bounce, so much more luster, um, very little frizz, and I don't have to wash my hair as frequently. So investing in a steamer will make you not spend as much money on products. Your wash and go will last longer, and your hair won't be dry and brittle. So this is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next upload.